Hello everybody and welcome back to this tutorial where we will actually code a simple MD5 brute forcer. Now in the previous video we coded something that will guess the SHA-1 hash password but right now let us code something that will guess the MD5 hash. But that's not the all of the things that we will change. In the previous video we actually coded a program that will read the passwords from the internet and right now let us actually code a simple program that will read the passwords from the file that we have in our own Kali Linux machine. So, for example, in our own directory, we have passwords.txt and what we want to do is actually use that file in order to try to crack the MD5 hash. So, first of all, let me clear the screen. We have our hasher and our sha one hashpy What we want to do is actually nano md 5 brutepy so let's call it like that. And we start off with our usual string, user bin python. So, let us, uh, at the start, import the term color since we will be printing everything in color for better look and we will also import the hash lib which we need in order to turn the md5 or the string into an md5 hash so first of all what do we want to do well the user of this program needs to specify the md5 hash so we want to actually prompt the user to specify it so we will call that the pass hash so let us call it like that pass underscore hash equals input and there we want to actually prompt the user enter md5 hash value so we prompt the user for that and after this we also want to prompt the user for the actual password list that they want to use in order to crack that md5 hash so that password list can be anything so we will just call it word list or password list or doesn't even matter so we want to press here or type here input and we want to specify to user that they need to enter the path to the file name so enter oops enter path to the password file so this is the only thing that the user needs to specify in order to run this program and right now let us actually try to uh, or not try to let us code the program that will actually perform the action of brute forcing. So first of all we want to try to open the file that the user specified in case they actually mistyped it. We want to print that file doesn't exist. So pass file, let's call it like that since we call this pass hash. This will be pass file equals open and what we will try to open, we will try to open the word list for reading as we only want to read the passwords. Now we will try that and if that doesn't work we can print this for example let me just add the double quotes print no such file at that path so at that path let's add exclamation mark and close this and we can actually put this in a function so it looks a little bit better def try open word list and we need to tab all of this into that function so tab it just once well, let's actually copy this to the f to be after the actual uh, function itself so just copy the input values put it below the actual function itself now let's go right here and what we want to do right now is actually just try to uh, change every single password from that file into an md5 hash but before we do that what we want to do is actually call the try open on the word list so it actually gets executed except right here and if it doesn't work, we also want to quit the program so it doesn't continue executing because it will run into an error. And after this, what we want to do is actually loop over the password file for every word. So let us do that for every word in our word list. Which makes sure that, let me just see right here, for every word. Now, since we opened the word list in our pass file, we need to specify the pass file. So for every word in pass underscore file what we want to do is first of all uh, print that we are trying to uh, 
hash that, uh, that word into an MD5. And then after that, we will actually try to uh, compare it to the actual hash value that the user specified to see if it matches. So print, we want to use colored. We want to specify, first of all, open brackets right here, then double quotes, trying. We want to add the word. And since that every word in our password file will have a new line character, we want to actually strip it from that new line character so we don't run into any problems. So strip the new line character, close the brackets, and we want to print that in red. So if I'm not mistaken, this should be good to go. Next thing we want to do is since, we, since this is Python 3, we actually have to encode that word with the UTF-8. So in order to do that, we will just make a variable called encode word equals the word itself dot encode. This is the function that actually allows us to encode it before we actually make an MD5 hash out of it. So encode and in brackets, we need to specify which encoder we want to use. We want to encode it with the UTF-8. And all we want to do after that is actually make out of the encrypted word or encoded, pardon me, not encrypted. We actually want to make the MD5 hash, which we can do with the same uh, with the uh, same uh, function that we used in the previous videos, which is hex digest. So let us call that function or that variable MD5. It will equal to the well, not let's call not let's not call it MD5 since it might actually cause some problem. Let us call it MD5 digest equals hash lib dot md5 since that's the hash value that we are looking for we want to strip the encrypted or pardon me not once again encrypted encoded word from anything it might pro uh, cause problem with so strip it and we want to actually use or add the function first of all let me just add hex digest right here and then i will check if we need to add a certain bracket right here so first of all we use the md5 on this encrypted word, we strip it from everything that is needed. We need to close another bracket right here, since the first open bracket and first close bracket is the part of the strip, and the second close bracket is the part of this. So first it will make the MD5 hash out of it, or it will make the actual object of MD5, and then it will hex digest it in order to make the MD5 hash. So this should work. We just added a function onto the end of another function. So let me just enter this. And all we want to do right now is if MD5 digest equals equals, so make sure to specify two times equal, equals to our pass hash. If they are equal, that means that we found the password from the list. And then we will print the password in the plain text. We will print it in green, so print colored Let's make it like this, so password found, and then we add the word itself, since word is in plain text. We do not want to add the MD5 digest, since we aren't really interested in sending the user back their hash. So plus word, whoops, and then we want to print that in green, so green. We close the single quotes, we close double brackets, and all we want to do is exit the program. So let us see if everything is correct. We read the word from the password file, we print that we are trying that, that current password, then we encode it with the UTF-8, then we make an MD5 hash out of that encoded word, then we compare the MD5 hash with the hash value that the user specified at the beginning of the program, and if they do match, that means that we found the correct password, so we will print the word in green, and then we will exit the program. Now, in case that we don't find the password, we want to print at the end. So, just print password not in list, and close this. So, if I'm not mistaken, if we save this, this should actually work. So first of all, let us make a simple password file. Nano pass.txt. Let's call it like that. Let's add here admin password hello123123 123, hello. 
So we can add anything. So password one, two, three, capital password. And then let's use, for example, something that will be our MD5 hash, which will be, for example, football. And then something once again, so admin123. So we will save this. Then we will encode, or not encode, we will hash the football string with our hasher uh, program and get the MD5 out of it. So let us save this. We have it right here, so pass.txt. Let me just zoom this in. Then we will run our hasher, but before we run it, let's just see uh, where is our MD5. So it is the first value that we will receive, that is the MD5. We run our hasher to get the MD5 hash out of football. Here it is. We will copy the MD5 hash. Oops, so copy the MD5 hash. Then what we want to do is run our MD5 brute. But let's first make it an executable, then python3 md5 root, enter md5 hash value, we paste the hash value of the football word, we enter the path to the password file, since the path.txt is, is in the same directory as our md5 root, we all we need to do is specify the name of that file, and it says uh, name path file is not defined. Now, I'm not really sure what that means. Oh, so pass file is an actually uh, only the variable in the actual uh, function. So we'll just add here global pass underscore file. This should, I believe, fix the problem because global variables are also allowed to be used outside of the function. As uh, But if you declare a variable inside of the function, uh, it will not be recognized by the rest of the program that doesn't actually uh, have anything to do with that function itself. So let us add global pass file. Maybe this will fix the problem. Maybe not. So pass.txt. And it did fix the program. And we actually managed to find the correct password. As we can see, trying admin, trying password, none of this really worked. Then it tried football and it said password found football and it quit the program. It didn't continue executing for any additional password. So that is good. We successfully coded an md5 brute forcer which can crack md5 hashes so now you can by yourself do the or make the brute forcer for any other hash value so just change the md5 to be sha 512 or sha 256 whatever you want and basically the principle behind those programs will be the same as in this one so hope you enjoyed this tutorial what i will do in the next one is i will show you a uh, Sing a library that comes in Python, which is called the crypt library. Now it allows us to actually hash the passwords with a salt value. Now I'll explain everything in the next video, but for now on that would be it. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I see you in the next lecture. Bye!